I had mentioned earlier that workspaces are a great way for you to focus your attention on specific aspects of the InDesign environment. I'd like now to take a look at how we can modify a workspace and create a new workspace that we can return to later on. If you've been following along, we've got our Tool Hints panel exposed, which we found under Window, Utilities, Tool Hints. We also have our Pages panel exposed. The Tool Hints panel is floating right now, but we can dock it to the other panels on the right. Select the bar at the top and then drag it to the right. When you see a blue line appear to the left of the column, then we can snap it into place there. Before we do this, I'd like to close the Pages panel, and I do that by clicking on the Pages panel button. So remember, we're going to grab the bar at the top of the Tool Hints panel and drag it into this space right here. When the line turns blue, and you can see that blue line has appeared to the left of the existing panels, we can then release the Tool Hints panel. Now the Tool Hints panel has become docked against the pages, the layers, the links, etc. over on the right. We can add additional panels as well. Under Window, choose Info. The Info panel provides us with feedback whether or not our Control panel is open. It also provides additional information about selections and about our document. Let's put it next to Tool Hints. If you click on the Info panel's name, we can then drag it and attach it to the right of Tool Hints. So click on Info panel's name. As we drag it onto the Tool Hints panel, you'll see that the Info panel will dim and the Tool Hints panel will develop a blue line around it. That lets us know that when we release the Info panel, it will become attached to that panel. Now you can see the Info panel and the Tool Hints panel are in the same panel. Click on each name to show the various panel. There's the Tool Hints. There's the Info. Now, I've got a workspace I've set up and I'd like to save it. InDesign has been following everything I've been doing. Notice that we have the Essentials workspace chosen. As we make adjustments to the workspace, those adjustments are going to stick with the Essentials workspace. Let's choose a different workspace to see what happens. Click on Essentials and pull down to Typography. Notice that there are a number of additional panels that have appeared over on the right and our Info panel and our Tool Hints panel has gone away. Let's go back to Essentials and see if we can recover those tools. Click on Typography and then choose Essentials. Notice that we go right back to where we were before. Another thing to note is that because we can provide color to menu items, we can help to focus on specific activities. Click on Essentials and pull down to New in CS5. This is a workspace that helps to focus our attention on things that are brand new inside of Creative Suite 5. On the right you'll see layers and track changes and animation as well as timing, preview, media, object states and buttons. So those panels are all new in Creative Suite 5. And then if you look at any of the menus, let's choose the Layout menu. You'll see that there must be something new about margins and columns because it's blue. Under the Type menu, you'll see Paragraph Styles as well as Track Changes and Text Variables. These all contain new things inside of Creative Suite 5. But I'd like to go back to my Essentials workspace that we had developed before. Click on New in CS5 and then choose Essentials. This is not the Essentials that we started with, however, so I'd like to save this workspace. Under the Workspace menu, choose New Workspace. And we'll call it Total Training. Click OK to accept the name. Now we're in the Total Training workspace, and if we go back to Essentials, we can reset Essentials to its default state. Choose Essentials, which looks just like Total Training and then return to the Workspace menu and choose Reset Essentials. The Essentials Workspace is now back to the Factory Default Workspace, but we haven't lost what we've done because remember, we created a total training workspace that we can return to at any time.
In this chapter, we've seen the various aspects of the InDesign interface and how we can customize it to fit our specific workflow. Now, go tune up the InDesign interface to make it more efficient for the work that you do.